you want. Yeah. Yeah. I just spotted something in that that I hadn't spotted the first time round either. Blood on the watch. <gasps> Luke Jennings, <laughs> you wrote this. Good morning. I did. Morning. Good morning. Um, tell us about where the idea for the characters came from. I had, I had Villanelle fully formed. I've had her in my mind for a long time. Yeah. And um, wondering what to do with her. And I wrote, I wrote the first story, which is just about Villanelle and just about one of her kills. Mm -hmm. And the second story, um, I thought, well, somebody has to get onto her. Somebody has to chase her. And I created Eve. And um, when I put the two of them together, I thought, this is, this is something. This is, this is going to... Mm. This is going to be more than just a story. Did you have a picture of them, obviously, in your mind when you're writing it? And how close is that to what we've seen depicted in uh, the, the, the thing that's gripping the nation at the moment? Jodie was exactly Villanelle. The moment I saw... It's Jodie Comer who's playing Jodie yeah. Comer, yes. You, you sort of... You talked... I know you've talked about it before. You sort of wrote it in some ways very much for television. Did you know it always needed to be on the telly? Well, I always hoped it would be, and as soon as I, as soon as I had Villanelle and Eve kind of facing off, I knew this would be great television, and the stories that I wrote were television episode length. Mm -hmm. And I was very shameless about it. I told everybody I met, you know, please read this. I think you will enjoy it. And, um, and luckily it did land. Mm. And talk us to about the process of working with Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who many people remember who was involved with Fleabag. That was her sort of comedic end of the spectrum. Sure. And now she's uh, been the screenwriter for this. So how were you involved in that process? And at what stage do you need to say, OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this baby of mine alone now and, and someone else can take it in a slightly different direction? Well, when the stories were first optioned, one of the possible screenwriters on the list was Phoebe. And I was, I was immediately keen on the idea of having a woman lead the script team. And she had, she had just opened Fleabag as a play in London at the Soho Theatre. So I went to see it. I went to a matinee. And, um, and immediately I, I knew she would, she would be perfect. She had no barriers whatsoever. She, she was completely fearless. She was prepared to go wherever the story led. So I thought this is absolutely the person who's going to get Villanelle. Mm -hmm. And I grabbed her afterwards, and she had already read, um, she had already read the first Villanelle story anyway. And she, she, she got the character 100%. And so for the next year or so, we were just in touch and talking about, talking about the characters. Um, have you been watching Bodyguard? I watched the first few episodes Did you? of it, yes. um, I'm interested because this is not, you know, Bodyguard, and the thing that became about Bodyguard is that we, we were all having to watch it on a Sunday night for fear anybody would tell us. Mm. This, interestingly, you can watch it on BBC One on Saturday night, mm. or also it's all out there already. What do you think? I mean, that's you know, this is a new way of doing television, isn't it? I know, well, it's funny... Quite... Please don't tell me anybody what happens, by the way. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite a few people have said to me that they prefer to watch it the old-fashioned way, yeah. you know, every Saturday and, um, and draw it and out. Wait. But then other people just watch the whole thing in a kind of mad or overnight binge. I, so. I'm feeling that it may have to be a binge it, it, for me. It it's one of those things. It's addictive telly. I yeah. think it's quite nice to be able to do that if you want to, but also I, I, I agree with you. Sometimes that wait and the discussion around a programme can be part of the magic, can't it? I think so, yes. Have you got another... Is there another story? Are you working on something else, or does this story continue? How far... The story continues. This? I've just finished the second Villanelle novel, and that comes out in a month. Brilliant. So... So uh, there's more? There is more. It will continue. <laughs> Oof. Yes. Is that a spoiler? Anyway, thank you very <laughs> much indeed. It's really lovely to see you. Um, you can catch episode three on Saturday evening, 9.25 on BBC One. Or, as I say, if you can't wait, the entire Killing Eve box set is actually already available on iPlayer. This is part of the magic of this program. Let us know if you've watched it already, but don't tell us what happened, OK? Yeah, the magic of this program is you go from an assassin to eels. Because? And the number of European eels has dropped so dramatically.